Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer from English with Jennifer. These are my students, Flavia and Andrea. We study basic English together. Well, right now we spend a lot of time at home because there's a pandemic, the coronavirus pandemic. But we studied a lot before the coronavirus came to the US. So we have a lot of lessons to share with you. In this lesson, we can practice talking about the past. Listen. How are you, Andrea? Hi, I'm good. And you? I'm pretty good. Yeah. How are you doing? Good and you. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. This is a new place. Yes. 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 Do you like it? Yes. I like it. You have lots of space. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. And yes. I see trees yeah. outside your window. It seems quiet. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Do you like your neighbors? Yes. They're nice yeah. neighbors? Mm -hmm. That's good. They're not noisy? No. No, <laughs> no problems. That's good. No. <laughs> okay. Well, um, it's a new month. What month is it? September. September. What was last month? August. August. So, in August we did different things. I mm -hmm. think you went somewhere. Yes. yes you took a trip. Mm -hmm. So Flavia went on a trip. Let's ask her for information. We'll ask her to tell us. Where did oh. you go? I went to Orlando, Florida. Mm -hmm. mm. How long you was your trip? Eight eight days. Eight days. Eight days. Mm. And about money, what's the question? Uh, was it expensive? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what was expensive? Um, the hotels, the food. Food is very expensive in the parks. Mm. Parks. How Park. many parks? Um, How many parks were there? Eight. Eight, eight parks. Eight parks. Yeah. So. She went to Orlando. We know Orlando, Florida has many parks. So one question could be, how many parks did you go? Well, did you go to? Go to. Did you visit? Did you see? How many parks did you visit? How many parks did you see? Yeah. Let's ask that again. How many parks did you see? I, I saw, uh -huh. I saw eight parks. That's a lot. Uh -huh. So yeah. every day, every day, you saw yeah. a new park. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ah, so let's talk about maybe best or favorite. Uh, uh, which park was your favorite? Mm -hmm. uh, Universal Studios. Universal Studios. Yes. Oh, I've never been there. Uh -huh. Yeah. Was it exciting? Yes. <laughs> Was it crowded? Uh, Were there lots of people? Uh, yes. Okay. When it's crowded, what do uh -huh. you see? When there are many people? Yeah. What do we call those? Do you know? Oh. What's cop? The, when one person stands. Yes, yes, yes. What do we, lines. 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 So the line, the question could be, I asked, was it crowded? That's a common question. Where did crowded. you go? Was it crowded? Were there many people? Mm -hmm. crowded. crowded with crowded. lots of people. Mm -hmm. Was it crowded? When someone tells me they go to a park, I ask about the lines. Mm -hmm. Were the lines long? Mm -hmm. Where the lines long? Yeah, not, not much. Not much, not too long. Uh, 30 minutes. Uh, yeah. yeah, not too bad, but... No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you have fun on your trip? Yes. That was good. Uh -huh. Did you take lots of pictures? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Good. <laughs> I've never been to eight parks. <laughs> That's a lot of parks to think. Yeah. Eight parks in eight days. That's yes. amazing. <laughs> okay. Um, who went with you? My husband. And what about your dog? Uh, Lila was with Andre. Uh huh. That's a good <laughs> friend. What do we call that? So, what did you do? What did, what did you do? If Lila was with you, what do we, how do we describe that? What did Andrea do? Um, I watched the dog. I took care of the dog. Um, I dog sat. <laughs> Sat. Sat. Like we have babysitters yeah. and you can babysit. 
You can also be a cat sitter, mm -hmm. a dog sitter. Mm -hmm. So you were you dog sat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Usually we talk about babysitting. Mm -hmm. Someone watches the baby. They take care of the baby. Well, Lila's like a baby. Yeah. <laughs> so you dog sat. No. That's nice. <laughs> Flavia's trip was in the past. It's over. It's finished. That's why we use the simple past to talk about it. She took a trip. She went with her husband. They had fun. They visited eight different parks. All these actions are finished actions. Now listen. I rode a horse. I was riding a horse. Are these verbs the same? Are they different? How are they different? Look at this old video. What's correct? In the video, I rode a horse. In the video, I was riding a horse. You'll soon learn the answer. Flavia, Andre, and I are going to practice the past progressive. I want to show you one of my photos mm -hmm. because in August I went to different places mm -hmm. with my children and one day um, we went to a park and this is at Canopy Lake Park. Mm -hmm. right. Do you know this kind of ride? Do you know how the horses uh -huh. go mm -hmm. up and down and what do you hear? Uh -oh. Oh. They play music. Yeah. Yes. They put and the horses go in a circle mm -hmm. and yes. you go up and down. <laughs> yeah, it's called a merry-go-round. Merry go round. Um my my son took this picture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when he took this picture, I was riding this horse. Mm -hmm. I was riding on the merry-go-round. Mm -hmm. Um my daughter was also standing and she was watching. She didn't want to go on because she doesn't like circles. Yeah, I like circles. I, it's, I like the music. So <laughs> she watched and I was riding and my son took a picture while I was riding and smiling. I was listening to the music. I was having fun. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's one place we went to. And then we went to another place also in New Hampshire. Let me show you this funny. My daughter took this photo. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Where am I sitting? What is this? Chair? A chair. A chair. Big chair. A really big, big chair. chair. So in this photo, I was sitting on a big chair. And um, it was funny. It, it's hard to get up. <laughs> it's hard to get out. So I was laughing. Um, because it was very difficult <laughs> to get on the chair. <laughs> My children were being silly. Okay. Then we went into caves. Mm -hmm. Caves. One cave, many caves. Mm -hmm. You go inside and it's cold mm -hmm. and it's dark, mm -hmm. but it's fun. <laughs> so I took a picture while they were climbing down. Climbing. They were climbing down, and they took pictures of me too. Here I was climbing out oh. of a cave. I was climbing out of a cave, and my, I think my daughter took that photo, and I was mm -hmm. climbing out of the cave. Yeah. Do you yeah. think this would be fun or no? Oh, I think it yes. Yes. Yeah. It can, yeah. It's fun. Uh -huh. I enjoy it. Some people say no. Uh -huh. They don't like going in. A cave where I like. it's I like. deep and it's dark. I think it's beautiful uh -huh. and quiet and peaceful, but some people say no. <laughs> <laughs> so you see how we can talk about what was happening. My daughter took a photo at that moment. Mm -hmm. What was I doing at that moment? I was climbing. I was climbing out of the cave, so she took it, and at that moment, I was climbing. I wasn't done yet, I was continuing to climb and climb, mm -hmm. and I got out. Mm -hmm. So we use the past progressive, was riding, was climbing, to show something happening. Mm -hmm. This action, right, mm -hmm. the 
was not finished. And we can use that also with the simple past to show the difference between what happened at a single moment. It was finished. He took the photo. Mm -hmm. And then an action that was not finished. Mm -hmm. I was riding. I was laughing. I was climbing. And that's what we can practice. Just like we had the present progressive, now we have the past progressive. So we use was, or, were, and then we use the IMG. Okay. So my children and I went climbing. I could say, I was climbing, you were climbing, she, she was climbing, climbing, climbing. he was climbing. And if we took the dogs and the cats, we can say the <laughs> cat, it, it was climbing. It was climbing. Together we, we were climbing. Climbing. And they, all the cats and dogs and children, they, <laughs> they were climbing. They were climbing. So we use was, were, and ing. Okay. And the same forms. You usually just add ing. But. Again, you follow the spelling rules. Sometimes you have to double a consonant, for example. Like, while she was having fun in Orlando, you were having fun because you were dog-sitting. <laughs> okay. That's a double T, dog-sitting. I was dog-sitting the whole time. Right? I was dog-sitting. Okay. I'm going to show some more photos, and you can tell me about what you see. What was I doing in each photo? Let's see if I can find something. For, it was the 4th of July, so what was I wearing and what was I holding? Um, you, you were holding uh, what? a flag. I was holding a flag. And what was I wearing? Uh, you was, you were Using t-shirt? You can say using. Better to say wearing. You wearing. were wearing. <laughs> you were wearing mm -hmm. a t-shirt. And what did my t-shirt have? Same a thing. Flag. A flag, the American flag. Yeah, I was standing in our garden, so we had flowers. It was July. Now we have no flowers. <laughs> <laughs> then we had flowers. And I was holding a flag, and I was wearing a t-shirt with the American flag. And I also had something on my head. Uh, you were wearing a hat? Uh-huh. Because what was the sun doing? The sun, sun. What does the sun do? The sun was... Was... was that word? Shiny. Oh, shiny. Mm -hmm. Right, that's why we wear sunglasses, too. When the sun shines very brightly, we need to protect our eyes with sunglasses or a hat. Uh -huh. So you were wearing a hat. The sun was shining and you were wearing a hat. Mm -hmm. I was standing in the garden, I was holding the flag, and I was wearing a flag because it was the 4th of July. <laughs> okay. This is also at Canopy Lake, um, mm -hmm. maybe two summers ago, and I remember my son took this photo. Do you know what these are called? It's like a ring, but we call it a hoop. Hoop? A hoop, and then we say hula hoop. Hula hoop. hoop. What do you say in Portuguese? Bamboli. 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 Yeah. <laughs> we say hula hoop. Hula, hula hoop. hoop. You can use a hula hoop. Use a hula hoop. Use a hula hoop. Or I guess you can play with a hula hoop. Let's say use. My son took this photo. So when my son took the photo, what was I doing? You were using a hula hoop. <laughs> so the past progressive uses a helping verb, was or were, and then the main verb is in the ing form. It's a present participle. In the video, I was riding a horse. I was riding a merry-go-round. We form the negative with not. Was not becomes wasn't. Were not can become weren't. My daughter wasn't writing. How do we form questions in the past progressive? 
Remember that questions use the word order, verb plus subject. Listen as Flavia, Andrea, and I practice. I'll say a statement and you change it to a question, a yes, no question. So if I say, my son was playing hockey, you'll change it to, was your son playing hockey? Mm -hmm. Okay. I was drinking hot tea. Mm -hmm. Was. I was drinking hot tea. Was. You. I. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. So you're talking to me. Switch it to you. Uh, uh, were you drinking? Hot tea. <laughs> More time. I was drinking hot tea. Were you drinking hot tea? Yes, I was. Okay. My daughter was playing the piano. <laughs> was daughter? Play. Was Dora playing the piano? Good. Just meaning to say, was your daughter? Uh, was your daughter playing the, play the piano? Yes, she was. Mm -hmm. When you say daughter, make sure you have the er. Daughter. Daughter. Was your daughter? Daughter. 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 Was your daughter playing <laughs> piano? Was your daughter? Playing, playing piano. Yeah, playing piano, playing the piano. Yes, she was. Mm -hmm. My husband was cutting the grass. You know, taking the machine and cutting the grass. My husband was cutting the grass. Um, no. Husband, he. So, was, was your husband? Cut, cutting the grass? grass. Yes, yes, he was. He was cutting the grass. Yes. Um, we were having a picnic. We, we were having a picnic. You can speak to you. Were your you were you were you Having a picnic? Yes, we were. We were having a picnic. Were you having a picnic? Yes, we were. My brothers were visiting. Mm. Or brothers? My brothers <laughs> were visiting. Or brothers visiting you? That's fine, because you, but again, we need to say whose brothers were your brothers. Your. Mm -hmm. Were your brothers visiting? Were your brothers, brothers visiting? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You could say, were your brothers visiting? Were your brothers visiting you? Yes, mm -hmm. they were. Last one. I was baking a cake. Was. Talk to me. I was baking a cake. Were. Again. Okay. I was baking a cake. Baking. 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 Mm -hmm. baking. You can make a cake. You can bake a cake. Bake a cake. Was you? What was it with you? Was or were? Were you baking mm -hmm. a cake? Mm -hmm. Yes, I was. Okay. Bake. Bake. Baking. Baking. Baking a cake. Good. Okay. Um, Tell me, maybe yesterday, around maybe, I don't know, 9 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. what were you doing? Mm -hmm. Around 9 o'clock, where were you, what were you doing? I was waking up. Oh, 9 o'clock? <laughs> nice, that's so nice. 9 o'clock, I was up. I woke up at 5.45. <laughs> Oh, at nine, around 9 o'clock yesterday, she was waking up. <laughs> and there's a difference. If you say, I woke up at 9 o'clock, then it's a finished action. You know, you hear the mm -hmm. alarm, I'm up. Mm -hmm. But some people take a long time. Mm -hmm. I need 10 Almost. minutes, 15 minutes. <laughs> My alarm goes off at 5.45, oh, and then I need like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
So if you ask me around six o'clock, I'm waking up. <laughs> I'm waking up. I'm moving. <laughs> so around nine o'clock yesterday, you were waking up. How about um, this morning around nine thirty? What were you doing? This morning. This morning, around nine thirty. What were you doing? I was make no make bake. I was make. To test? Uh, yes. To make a test or take a test? Take a test. Take take a test. test. So I, I was taking a mm -hmm. test. I was taking a test. Yes. yes. Good. So you're working hard, you're thinking. Good. <laughs> okay, so we had our yes no questions. Let's talk about our questions for information. Right? All of these questions begin with question words like what, when, why, how, right? So if I give you a sentence, oops, let's do it. Um, my son was playing hockey. We can get a lot of information from that question. Let's start with a question about my son. The question word is who. who. So the question, the full question is who. Who was playing hockey? Uh -huh. My son. My son was playing hockey. Let's change that to what? What was playing? Uh, what is your son playing? Yeah, because <laughs> we need the subject. What was your son playing? He was playing hockey. Okay. You might ask a question about the place. Where was your son? Play hockey. Where was your son playing hockey? At an ice rink. Mm -hmm. At an ice rink. A place with ice. At an ice rink. Okay. I'm going to give a long sentence so we can make a few different questions. Sarah was baking a chocolate cake for a dinner party. First question. Let's make a question about Sarah. This is this one should be easy. Let's focus on Sarah first. What question do we ask about people? Okay, so what's our first question? Who was who was baking a chocolate cake for a dinner party? Yeah, who was baking a chocolate cake? Sarah was baking. Okay, now let's forget about Sarah for a moment, and we're going to focus on the cake. If the cake is the answer, we'll make a question with what? What was Sarah baking? What was Sarah baking? She's baking a chocolate cake. Okay. This explains the reason. When we talk about reasons, we make questions with why. Mm -hmm. Why was Sarah baking a chocolate cake? Very good. She's baking it for a dinner party. Very nice. Can you form some questions in the past progressive? Put the words in the correct order. What were you wearing? I was wearing an evening dress. It was a special event. Why were you standing there? I was standing in the middle of the fountain because I wanted to take a photo. This was at a park in Atlanta, Georgia. We'll end here. Was the lesson useful? Please like and share the video with others. As always, thanks for watching and happy studies. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on those notifications.